And this can also be a money hill, one of the very few on Bell Cage where you can get a great deal of time. And again, it is the same situation. You've got both sides pushed out. You get who can be the slayer. He can only find two. It's a, 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 a don't predict anything here on, on Bokaj. It's a wild one as we saw those final few moments. They were a lot of fun, gotta say, but it's gonna be a good year, Charles. This is gonna be wild. Being stopped on the side of the gorillas. And even the battle inside the point, Hook versus Skies, Hook comes out on top. So Gorillas, they found their man. Hook is able to get through to try to set up for P2. But again, it's a four-point game at this point. I mean, anyone can take over. You know Gunless is trying. Two kills go his way. Great awareness from Hook. Good shots. And again, utilizing our little breakable bits of cover. And he's trying to do it again. Trying to Kool-Aid man that one, but he can't quite find the momentum. Get attacked. He's already great. Nice flank from Hook. That's going to be four. Skies, whoa, man, it was close. In terms of his positioning, he has been great, especially off of these rotations. Now for the LAG side, say what, my friend, who? I mean, yeah, he has played well, at least in the first set of rotations. I, I know we talked about it. You know what? Maybe he shouldn't be going for the rotations. Rather, he should just be sliding. But Jay, he's doing everything right now. Oh, my. 18 and 6. Now on a three spree is Tyler Garland. Now that to make it four in a row. Hook making some plays. Now New York still have more fight in them. No one collecting any sort of time. You're waiting for that next set of gunfights oh, to come through. Who okay, let's try it. Oh. He finds two, he finds three in the point, looking for the next, or maybe just letting his teammates collect that time. LAG have ran away with this game. That's the nuke right there, baby. We, we saw a couple of decent holds, a few nice hills, but ultimately, beautiful stuff out of LAG. They're doing great. And again, you got to imagine, once the kills start going their way, how bad could this get for LAG? Who goes three in a row? Whoa, baby! Oh, my oh. sweet. Soaring across the Tuscan skyline. Straight on these players to spawn. There's a couple of nades for him though. That's gonna sting a little. I see him on the cross. Good shots. Hydra though. Man, he's hard to kill. Gunless over the pinch. Now you've got column control for LAG. Krim flies into it. Hooks on a five. One more. Holding spawns for next. So LAG with preferred positioning, but Toronto still with that 30-point advantage, Jay. Yeah, that clock is definitely potentially gonna come into play as LAG are putting a lot of pressure in towards the middle of the map. They still have the spawn source back barn, but Ultra they able to find a couple kills, get onto this middle point. It's only gonna be 30 seconds left. But if you're Ultra, you're Ooh. not too worried about keeping these guys off the point. Take it two, now up to Hook and Asim. So now in the 4v2, Hook has to try to make a play. He does find one, spots a second as well, makes it a 2v2 immediately. Early miss snipe. It will be the SMG picking up and doing some of the work. Hook still in the midst of trying to hunt for some streaks. Now Cami aware of his push. Great coordination there from Slasher and Hook together. Longtime teammates utilizing that teamwork, and they're going to have to continue to do it as that bomb is rotated over at B. And now it's on to the retake for Gorillas. And Kleenex does find the first blood. Oh! Trade is going to be here from Hook. Great shots onto Bands on a six spree, potentially picking up a glide bomb as well. But Kleenex finds the second. Now Hook left in a 1v2, makes it a 1v1. Yeah, at the very least, he earned some streak. Oof. So, hey, all things considered, Toronto Ultra, they secured the round. But Hook, my goodness, we're just three rounds, four rounds in, and he's already got both streaks. Pushing forward over into A. Hook off the gates. 29 and 14. We asked for the guy to have an answer after the series that he had last week. I mean, last week and he has so far answered the call. 141 to 228. Now it's time to set up for this P5 hardpoint, and they're already here as Hook does find another two in the feet. Hook looking for a spree of his own. Oh my goodness, the quickest of reactions. Never stood a chance. Nasty will never be the same. Can they make the most of it yet? Well, this is not a big gap. It is not a big gap. Bearing in mind, I felt like LAG have had control all the way through. Rocker have made a comeback already. Looking for this one. Hugh, though, on the stairs. Managed to get one kill. Now, gonna go challenge to here as well. She's stabbed. He oh. goes him down. Just flying about like a lunatic. This is Hugh unleashed. He does not want to be in any one position. He's just finding Ooh. everybody. Major Maniac eventually managing to take him down. The problem for Rocker. He's trying to find them. I don't think either have seen each other. And now it's just like, who might get fortunate? It'll be Hook. There's going to be the opening. But you see the close spawn still going to come in. That number seven in attack is going to pop eight as well. Standy's still there. You're going to have to find more kills if you are Gorillas. And in the point, it's Rocker getting close to 15 points to close this out. 
Who came to shots? He's able to clear them out of the point. That's a big one. He's played his life. He's gotten them out of the time, but finally he's gonna drop. Yeah, I mean he's made the plays that he's has to now on a defensive round. It's just yeah, that extra utility you would have. But so far you, you will take this now. They need that second take towards day. But who hit some nice shots? Yeah. Much better than what we saw on that map number two. Yeah, yeah. As much as I was giving him a hard time, he, he is one of the more raw and natural especially talented players you're ever gonna see as you're watching a bit of flash and magic right now is back to work at 13 and 11. Now close to getting this time extension. There's the second bit of work. Is the help there as all the fights are going around green his teammates dropping all over the place. Pivot right now at six engagements uh, per minute. So that basically means that he is getting in an engagement every 10 seconds. This guy loves to get the mix, and so we'll see if the Gorillas can try and handle that as Hook on the other end now finds himself on four, pushing out the spawns and then some for the Mutineers despite that fast-paced play. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, man, man's a little bit too twisted to kick off the game, to be <laughs> honest with you. <laughs> just calm it down, just calm it down. And I think that's when Surge need the leader, they need accuracy just to calm the team down on occasion. However, you know, saying that whenever we are in the comms with these guys, then, well, yeah, I mean, they're going to be coming right now. The hook is one shot in mid as so he does find two. We'll get taken down by his teammate. Not quite sure why there was a grenade that way from his team. He is going to... Now we'll get some boat control themselves. So we'll play from Hoop there as well. There's the cleanup crew coming in for LAG. And that's just sent into motion ultimately by Slasher. Pushing up, getting a little bit of damage in from that side as well after he finds that initial kill. And that's ultimately is what forced Thieves all the way back in. You could just go try and find a few more. I think he's been cod timing. One player has slipped through ever so slightly. I managed to get on the boat and Hugh now knows it as they are losing A. I wonder if Hugh will stay here and try and get it. No, they're gonna try and get him off with four. He's going back and forth. He's looking for more kills. Hugh cannot be stopped now on a 5 3. We're going to get a 6. Oh, wow. Maybe think over towards B, but it looks like LAG Arcs are going to get the clear out here and they're going to get some P1 control so they know they can find this push coming on through and Hook will get this secured for the team. See if they can push them out and just try and get these spawns going for the LAG. Good shots from Hook once again. Sit to 25 and 16. He's waiting for the rest of the teammates to try to join alongside of him, but there is Hook with the answer. Again, 40 very valuable points for the Gorillas, but with only three more points remaining for Optic, we'll see what LAG have brewed on up. That's going to be control as they finally do hop inside of the hill. Streaks would be massive, Oof. but just cut down one short. That's got to hurt. You can just tell, right? Optic absolutely confident in their abilities, but right when they get that way, they're prepared for it, Hook. A great double granted for him. LAG with a 10 point advantage in 20 valuable seconds. Still left over at the trains. But it's Hook the Nuke going off. And the Ravens once again silenced. It's only 10 seconds left, so you have to start thinking about that rotation towards P5. You see number two in Nasty. He knows that the power position has to be towards his three story. And then once again, classic. He takes on his substitute counterpart on the other side of the board spot, brings him down. Time going the way of Seattle Surge. Rotation's now all about. And as you can see, all four points of the map, that's all covered up now for LAG. Rotations once again. But it has been the breaks of Surge that have been the game changer. Finally, Hook's able to win a couple on the rotation. I feel like Sib has been that guy for Seattle for quite some time, but he Two stable for the first 50 seconds. Two Ooh. continues it for a moment in the trades are in, but look at the Nate from Classic, able to take away at least an extra couple seconds. But a game five, round 11, they are right back into it. Yeah, that adrenaline still running. Nice early time here, Hook 3 0. Now up to 4 0 as he's pushing out towards B2. <laughs> it's he, yeah, the map is his playground right now, just ripping and roaring all over the place, and that is enough for Boston Bree. As he makes things safe, a BZ guns in there. Once again, the Vulcan hand. Who with the top ring control, all good for now. Has to turn his back though, because the player is now flooding through mid map. Here comes LEG out of their spawn, right into the fight we go. Slasher loses the top boat fight. RCT's alive and well. Back on the A point we go. Hey, if you're LAG though, you fight them off this time Ooh. without question, and a couple gunfight wins. You the opportunity to flank a scene does get gunned by simp and still there is only one player for phase near this point only 10 seconds left on the clock they're gonna get going again and they sit pressure now forward they go from arsity's the closest player towards that zone and already on the spawns is hook dealing a little bit of damage a big win once again stays alive keeps that flank safe 2.3 though they get on the point for a moment no hook spree keeps going final round lag will have defense a seam is there for the clearance and a nice little shutdown. Hook winning gunfights on A. The defense hold is there, but 
Still a decent chunk of progression. You cannot afford wow. to take your foot off the gas. They're still on A right now as Atlanta phase. They get two segments, one more, and they can extend the clock. The spirit of Nikki D gave us the rampart. Spark in living flesh has given us the Vulcan. So many players have tried to use it. No one uses it like these two. Hook making plays. He's able to pick up a pair, give him the fourth in a row, and then Spark was right behind him. Surely their defensive round has been very costly for LAG to get to this point here in the round. What? That body hit the bloody ceiling. You got two players on point. This might be the stack. You get a couple oh of my kills. God. This might be the stack. Oh you can get God. a couple of players on it. Gunfights are not easy. No one kills him. And Hook's on the flank. Hook is on the flank. Oh, God. He's got another. And now the guns are up. Ice Wars, the next set of spawns, as he is truly in that flow state. I mean, okay, this is all just done. for gunfight, but yeah, you're going to be able to get A eventually. And I was going to say, Slasher, I mean, sort of similar to Shotzi, at the very least, is going to be drawing the attention. But now LAG, they're trying to push this pace. They are already up inside a train. They're able to get a couple kills. You deal with Dashi on the flank, and you've taken care of everyone. Now you can try to stack this point. Who's trying to watch the outside now. Prudence there to help out. Seeing good shots. There we go. The hit now from the front side. Optic trying to make their way forward. Sparks up next. They're just trying to make sure nobody can get to his teammates in that hill. Watching the angles, Hoop just staying down 5 HP at the moment. But this has been a huge hold as a 5 streak for Hugh as well. Slow start, better middle. Just trying to play a peekaboo over the boxes as best as he can. He's just doing fantastically at it as well. That's a really, really nice hold from LAG. Fantastic stuff out of them and the glaring issue with Florida's half point game on Gav. Coming to the forefront. Every time LAG have been in there. Florida have not broke them. Not even come remotely close to doing so. Because LAG will be able to get a few players off the point for now. They've got everybody and their mother. Surrounding them, taking them down from flanks. 30 seconds left. This is dire moments for the Gorillas. Yes, there is. But you see what the positioning of, once again, what Paris Legion are doing. They find that first foot. They're slowly going to work their way up. Now they have a man advantage, even with John getting taken down in a 3v2. Look at Hook. Hook's gonna cover so much ground. He challenges the first. Yeah, man, Vance is just kind of hanging out like, uh, I know I'm here. You guys know I'm here. It's all good. Okay, ends up getting taken down. Hook at least is able to go on that five spree. And as we said, a hill where they could take the lead. They absolutely do that. We'll be up by 10 as we head into the final hill. The first set of rotations, a very back and forth game, but all eyes on the good old Hook Skywalker. A few kills away from what could be the glide bomb. That would be massive, especially on a map like Kavutu and maybe even for this P5. And Toronto looked to hunker down and really just trying to reclaim some control over the boat. Now make it six for Hook. Some questions, you know, when we talk about this SMG duo, who's going to be running the AR? It appears that Hook decides to grab it. The automaton is feeling great in his hands. A seven spree, a glide bomb, and the sentry mark reached for the gorillas. A good patience right there from LAG to take their time on that break. They allow Hook to earn that glide bomb. He has to go out there and win his once. Yeah, he absolutely does. And uh, maybe avoid Not gonna help. Yep. in the process. Yeah, Slasher having a great series is able to find that opening there with the nade. As we talk about SMGs are the topic of discussion and you see all three straight in a row going toward the gorillas okay. and hook is ready to fry as you said jay it just feels like he is a different beast today he was fiery in the comms and he is fiery to oh. off awesome time oh. Give him six in a row. why does it even matter that he didn't earn the glide bomb he allows for neptune to be in place of him my goodness what a start jismit takes that one down so he's a little bit of time here but neptune's opportunity to strike did he get it two now for hook in a row Kills keep it through, rotations done and dusted over towards the bottom side of the boat. That's gonna be Hoop once again. The three spree continues. Can he make any more of a chance? I uh, will see if he can actually, you know, cause some problems up top. Three spree, nothing to write home about yet, but you get the full setup in and around the hill and he's ready for the flank that's actually not coming through. So LAG guns up, ready to go flying from the top rope. And well, I was gonna say maybe get the glide, but a nade from the sky able to take Spark down. 
nice little moment for the subliners where things could have spiraled a little bit out of control. Yeah, it could have got real bad. Hoop's going to dive right back into this fight. Oh my god, it's all three for Hoop. Unreal. Can he get the fourth man now? As Paul's up next, great bit of work from Hoop, whether it was Spark with a six free or now Hoop with a three. LAG back in this. And your sub's trying to get a little bit hot as well, right? That's sort of the battle for the LAG team. If Hook and Neptune are frying, you expect this team to win. But oof, shooting against guys like Hydra and Kismet, never fun. But in this true test right now, Hook trying to rise to the occasion. And now with him taking a couple of little shots onto Hook, it's going to force LAG to turn around, knowing his position. They have to take him down. Do put some pressure on though. If you're Atlanta face towards that top plat, but Hook back into the play. Oh, At least my. finds the first, finds the second as well. The nuke answering in this control. Okay, Hook just from the skies. Not a problem in the world. Great work out of him. Atlanta face. Now, as we talked about, one last good push at this, but how about Hook? Once more, rolling through the top side of the church, ready to pounce at a moment's notice. A great defensive round answered by an even better defensive round. Gorillas locking things up. Spart ever present toward the backside of the tank as he is setting his teammate up for a little bit of success. It will be a back-to-back assist. Took, I believe, did earn the glide bomb before touching the grass. LAG answering back. That was like a mirror defense for both of these squads. Like, out slay by 12 kills. You only allowed him to get three segments done at a point. Favoring Atlanta phase here off the rip. They've got the preferred spawns, but LAG group on up. They find the kills that they have to, and now they've got an opportunity for some control. That's a great break from LAG to not allow Atlanta face to walk away with all this time at P1. They only give up 14 seconds. They should be able to take the lead right on back. Yeah. You see Boston trying to squeeze this one. Hugo's got a lot of pressure coming towards his way, but he gets one as well, stays alive. His teammates desperately try to reinforce him here on the point. And eventually, Slasher on that Overwatch position does do it. And Hugo's going round the houses looking for more players. This guy is firing on all cylinders. Whoa. Eventually taken down by Nero. Although they lost the last 20 points in the previous hill, they have locked down the first 30 here over towards P4. Those rotations so important yesterday. And once again, Paying off for the side of LAG. Hook now feeling it skating around Bacage once again. And Boston are really struggling to find a foothold here. They're getting one or two players through at a time, but it's not enough to break what good of a hold LAG have had on here. Sook does some delicate parkour to get himself into a new location to try to attack this hard point. Gizmo will be his target. And towards the hard point we go. The Ravens, the masters of the hard point break. Now we'll see how they hold. And so far, it's a wonderful attack from Hook. The attack vector from top green is still flowing, and he's on a three spree right now, looking towards the point. I mean, the Hook's over here Whoa. shooting like he's playing against Atlanta FaZe. Maybe they got the gamer tags mixed up because that is where he truly fries. Oh, this might actually work out. Oh, Giz Gizmo gets him weak enough and nasty buys the time. Yeah, he went plat instead of the hill. Hook's still, though, on the flank. The 1v1 gunfight in the hill. Well, not oh, a no. 1v1 Afro last man standing, but nice one, though, from Afro to pick him up, make the back line safe for now. Hook's going to try to fill that spot real fast. Again, that's some 50 seconds to play with here. You've got a, not a lot of lives oh, remaining, but Hook, oh my god, he's on a mission. He's on a mission! No way, one more bullet would have done it. Still, you're on the point now. Takes care of business up front. Hook's going to be there as well. Now, pressure on. Damn. Oh, baby, Hook, the reach out. That's a six spree. Good start for the side of LAG. They want to try and keep a hold of these spawns as best as they can. Oh. Hook with three in the middle. We catch the back end of that one. A really nice start for LAG. This will worry Ravens as they come out hot. Yeah, that's exactly what they didn't want, especially with this first elimination game. Hook continuing that reign of terror mid map. He's going to have four, and you can see the rotation wants to come in from London as they pick up just a few seconds of scrap time. But nobody Jeez. in position yet. Somehow they break straight. Hugh, Hugh trying to do the work. Get oh, two already, God. looking for the third! Oh. And Hugh shut down the entire push from London Royal Ravens. Good kills from Neptune as well. Five three for him. A glide bomb would help you out. It's probably the least useful thing when it does come down to Berlin, but it's never a bad thing to have. LG still in a good spot here but can close up this defense. They were oh. so close to doing so in that attacking round previously. They have a chance. Force free for Hook as well. Yeah, he's punching them. He's trying to keep them on the back foot. Huge streaks all over the place for LAG. They really do not want to give London even a single opportunity to get through this. Hugh, he's just pushing all the way through and he oh. keeps finding it. Six now for Hugh. 